Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Friday the 31st of May 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using The Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed Okay, well it's a little brighter today um, and slightly warmer. <laughs> That's some good news and apparently over the weekend we're going to, it's going to get really warm. So a big contrast coming up in temperatures. <laughs> okay. What is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit? Thank you. For Friday, the 31st, it's you two, thank you. One, two. Okay, your first card is the Seven of Fire, the Seven of Wands. Followed by Major Arcana, number eight, Strength. And finishing with the King of Air. Your first card is the Seven of Fire. You are ready today, my friends, to take that leap of faith. Seven is the number of spirituality. So you are, you're trusting yourself, you're trusting your, your nature, you, you're following your desires now with, um, with real drive and ambition. Um, I'm feeling go-getters. Um, and as I look actually at this illustration um, and we see all the elementals flying around, I'm feeling that this is um, enlightenment. You, you're, um, you're clearer. This is clarity that you have now. Um, I feel you've put the research in. You've put the work in. You've been diligent. Um, and now you're feeling ambitious and you're ready to go and chase after your dreams. Um, and I'll look at the terrain here and um, it doesn't look all that safe underfoot. But yet, still, you are ready to take that leap because you uh, feel sure about your footing. Ooh, <laughs> OK. Next, we have Major Arcana, number eight, Strength. Major Arcana, as they speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. And I love seven and then followed by eight. <laughs> and this is your inner world. It's, it's ready for abundance. You are ready to manifest. Um, and, and the Strength card is you now. I feel that everything that you are doing now, you are understanding that you are doing it from within to without. Um, so you you understand your inner strengths now. You understand that you are creating from your inner thoughts and feelings. Um, this is kindness. This is caring. This is <sighs> compassion. And, and again, um, I'm really drawn to um, creative expression, um, but rather than going and doing paintings or this is you um, expressing yourselves through your heart centre. I feel you're putting your feelings out there. This is personal power. 
Oh, you're shining your personal power out now, my friends. Not afraid to show people. Again, it's coming again. Allowing your true natures to come out and not afraid to show who you are to others around you. Um, standing your ground. Sure-footed. Knowing. Having, I feel, strength, faith, self-belief. Um, a real inner knowing of where you're going now. Um, you have vision now of where you see yourself being. Uh, and you know how to achieve this. This is you achieving, my friends. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. And next we have... The king of air, the king of swords. Kings collectively are air energy. So this is kind of double air, double sword energy. Kings, they are masters. Kings have, this king, he has mastered his, his thoughts and how he communicates into the world. Kings, they are powerful they're successful they are accomplished they are about authority um, justice and, and ethics um, they are about responsibility because they have a responsibility to their kingdom and to their subjects this king he is he's firm but he is fair i am hearing he is a He's a debater. Although he carries a sword and he would defend you if, if he deemed it necessary, um, he'd rather debate and politic the matter over. Wow. You're finding strength, my friends, in your words. You are finding strength in communication. You are finding strength now. Um, I'm really feeling that as this is showing us as a unicorn or a horse i feel that you have taken control of your own thoughts and the way you think and the way you speak into the world i am hearing um diplomatic oh you're being more diplomatic my friends uh finding strength in being diplomatic oh wow <laughs> oh wow what a wonderful way to end the week okay well let's bring a shiver to my friend lee <laughs> the secret language of color by inner cigar <clears throat> What is the message for my wonderful friends? Thank you. <clears throat> so we'll move the cards up and we'll lower the camera. Okay. And you have, whoops, Burgundy, number 10. Awaken your passion. I love how it's come under here. And 10, the number of endings and beginnings this is you i feel ending um an old way of um thinking you've let go of of dogma my friends you've let go of old beliefs old belief structures uh, and this is a new you um i feel you have awakened you are awakening your passion i feel that you have a new passion for life i'm, I'm seeing you here um i'm sure-footed ready to take a leap knowing that when you take that leap spirit comes with you your inner strength your personal power comes with you it, it's the only way it has to be <laughs> okay burgundy comes to your passion sorry burgundy connects to your passion vibrancy and enthusiasm for life it leads you to your life purpose and makes your dreams a reality. Burgundy also energizes you whenever you are feeling down, showing you that you're showing you your path when you feel lost. 
Awaken your passion with Burgundy. When you are passionate about something, your intuition, heart and soul awakens and you start to experience clarity and purpose in your life. Spend some time connecting to your passion and write down all the things you love or would love to do, feel and experience. Wear something burgundy close to your heart or create a special bracelet for yourself that you can wear often to remind you of your passion. You can also make a per make or purchase a picture of a burgundy circle and every day spend five minutes meditating on this circle, awakening your zest for life. Energise yourself by taking deep connected breaths as you focus your attention on the colour burgundy and say divine intelligence please allow me to awaken my intuition, passion and love for life so that I can fulfil my extraordinary potential <laughs> oh wow you're going from ordinary my friends to extraordinary wow wonderful which is wisdom barbara mickle john free and flavia kate peters what is the message for my wonderful friends from spirit thank you okay you have homeland foundation coming underneath strength <laughs> oh this is turning into a wonderful message remembering and acknowledging where you come from is the very foundation that a witch can build her strengths upon. When your roots are planted fully in the ground, you can call home. The wisdom of the ancestors can be accessed and utilised. Homeland is beckoning you to take a long-awaited trip back home, to visit and connect with the lands that you and your family before you once walked upon. Allow past memories to surface, whether happy or other, and track into your feelings to discover who you really are and what makes you tick. You may have a longing to travel to a distant land that you have never set foot on. Past life connections are surfacing right now, and it is important that you honour this calling. Place upon your altar some earth from your homeland, whether from this lifetime or another so that you can connect with the very essence of who you and the land that you walked upon long ago. Homeland calls you from afar to remember who you are. Foundation is the very key to understand more easily and we've been talking about foundation we've been having uh, number four um, really prominently this week um, this is your foundation that you are coming from um, and actually you're kind of walking just on your hind legs um, I'm really feeling that you are this leap that you are taking it's coming from a newfound self-belief believing in yourselves trusting in yourself more trusting in the universe and spirit more you've awakened your passions and you are ready to go from ordinary into extraordinary wow you've been taming your thoughts um, and how you communicate to others and to yourself uh, stopping that negative self-talk absolutely fantastic <laughs> okay what is the message oh i'm sorry i didn't do it did i sorry friends Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. <laughs> I nearly let you down, Heather and Cal, sorry. <laughs> what is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit for Friday the 31st of May 2019? There we go. 
Okay. And we have... Oh, nature is back again. This is a gorgeous illustration. And we've talked about grounding, about foundations, and this is just another reminder. Ground yourself. Find sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. So, again, you are being guided, my friends, that whenever you do start thinking negatively, negatively, I can't even say it, um, about yourself and about others to pull yourself back into the moment remind yourself how beautiful the world is around you listen to the birds singing um look and you know be amazed by the beauty of the flowers and the trees um, grounding yourself really important my friends when you're taking these big leaps uh, because your passion has been awakened um, grounding very important it is your personal power your personal strength and it is the foundation and basis that you come from <sighs> foundations really really important today my friends wow what an absolutely wonderful wonderful way to end an absolutely fabulous week of um real energy um real good light-hearted energy i'm feeling people are coming are coming out to play um being more playful uh, getting in touch with your inner child more um you know realizing there's nothing serious going on here <laughs> and that it is you that is creating your own reality and i see you now creating a a beautiful reality for yourselves now wow 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 thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome you subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits and thank you too for your warm kind caring comforting emails and comments i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed day and until tomorrow, my friends, goodbye.